What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel. Just a quick video today. I wasn't even going to do this because I'm always down on the player of the weeks, but a lot of people have been asking me to continue doing them, so I will continue doing them for you. Yes, for you. So we're going to start off with Lewandowski, Saka and Rutter, right? I've been very impressed with this kid, man, Rutter. He's a beast, right? He's only 22. He hasn't got a real face in game, but he's a monster, man. He was playing exceptionally well for me. Brilliant skills. He's down as a whole player as well. He doesn't even have a booster, but he's super sub. One touch pass, first time shot, soul control, flip flap, double touch. Beautiful. And we played really, really some good football with him on our road to glory. You can check out the video, the full stream. It was our Friday stream. Um, he's on A rating. Kind of reminds me of, dare I say it, Eze or Eze from Crystal Palace when he brought out his player of the week card. Not quite as good, but kind of similar to that card. Um, and just another gem at Brighton, man. Brighton just seemed to be, seriously, man, they just seem to be being able to bring on unbelievable cards, right? We also have this guy here, Matteo Retegoy. This guy scored a hat the other day as well for Atalanta. Lewandowski scored a hat trick. Valverde, again, fantastic. Saka. None of these cards really, like, these cards back here, you're just average goalkeepers, man. If you sign them, great. But I wouldn't be kind of like opening this pack for any of these five boys. We actually got this guy on my other profile as well. He's only okay as an extra frontman, man. He's not going to have that kind of rapidness at the back. An extra frontman, I don't like. Also, he does have blocker and interception, but he doesn't have aerial superiority or acrobatic clearance, which is a big naughty naughty for me. I definitely think you need that. Um, we've already covered Rutter. Uh, this guy is good as well. He's definitely somebody that I think is just about pace. He doesn't have a boost or anything like that. Again, he doesn't have a face. Soul control, double touch, but he's missing flip flap and he can't give it to him. He does have some nice play style uh, runs as well there with the amazing run, the incisive run. If you're simming games, I'm going to do a video on AI play styles. We had this bit of a debate. There seems to be a bit of confusion about what the AI playing styles do. I'm going to do a video on that. If you want to see that, let me know in the comments below. Again, kind of a pass on him. And obviously, you've got your center back as well. That's down as your destroyer. Pretty decent. Good speed. But at this stage, lads, you should probably have, unless you're literally starting the game in the last, like, 60 minutes, you should have a better destroyer than this within probably, like, a couple of minutes because you can just buy really good destroyers on the GP marketplace, right? Um, Kovacic is always a decent player. Definitely not one of his stronger cards. But he does have really nice silky movement on the ball. He's actually, you think Kovacic is actually bigger than he is, but he's just really silky on the ball. He kind of reminds me a little bit, not so much, but he kind of reminds me of kind of Wilshire to make the runs he makes as an orchestrator. Um, and he's got exceptional stats, exceptionally average stats for everything. There's no weakness in his card. On to this guy here from Atlanta. I mean, obviously, he's only 25 as well. Atalanta are kind of rebuilding again and building up again. Very nice card. He's going to have his attacking awareness, his finishing, and his kicking power into the 90s when you get him with a good manager. He's actually got a striker's instinct here as well. His stats are a little bit uh, better than his skills, though. His skills let him down a little bit. But still, it's not a bad card. One touch pass, first time shot. Doesn't have outside curler, long range curler. Yeah, it's not the best card that they could have got. Obviously, as well, Marcus Turam. A lot of people talking about this Turam. He obviously features as well in the other pack. We're going to do a review on that um, of the best free players to sign. This card has surprised me as a target man, but more so the other card that you can get for free. Don't even take a chance with spinning for that card if you're looking for it. Valverde. Again, lads, unbelievable. Any version of Valverde is a beast. One of the most underrated players in the game. Can play CMF or right wing. I have his player of the week uh, card from the Champions League, and it's amazing. This card is going to be equally very, very decent as well. Everything above 85 that you need in a box-to-box -box all rounder. Lewandowski and Saka. Lewandowski, again, only going to be let down with every card he has by the fact that he's going to be uh, low balance. The rest of it is going to be pretty decent, man. He's got a really nice card. Aerial superiority, heading, long range uh, shooting, but he's just not going to be silky. He's not going to be tall enough for a target, man. And then Saka. This Saka actually does have blocker and track back. So I would play him left mid if I was playing him. Right mid or left mid. That's where I would play him. He's very, very nice to cross the ball. It's definitely not the best Saka card that they've released. But I do like it. It's not a booster card, but I do like this card a lot. So I think that at this stage, lads, the player of the weeks are what they are, right? Next up with it, I will do this European Club Championship one. And also, don't forget as well that you have your free Legacy of Legend Turam in here as well. That is probably going to be yours after 15 games of playing. 
and it's a goal poacher. It's not a target man. He's slightly more nimble, um, and his runs are a slightly better as a goal poacher, but he's still tall and strong, and his physical contact is ridiculous as well, as have an acrobatic finishing. He doesn't have area superiority, but you can give him area superiority because these cards can be trained, and they can have additional skills, so don't forget that. But that is it for me. Next up, we'll do the other player of the week, and we'll do the Legacy of Legends. Let me know in the comments below what else you want to see. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button, and I'll talk to you then. Peace.